Uh, and you'll see here that the rain is going to continue to work its way into the area there. Uh, coming across Plaquemines Parish as we move forward, uh, you can see down there near Triumph area as well. And uh, again, that onshore flow will continue. That heavy rain band is really close to where we're talking about. It's kind of shifted still in Mobile, but more toward Biloxi area as they're getting two, three, four inches of rain in hour with that and that's something we'll have to keep an eye on is some of the bands of rain that come through here have been fairly quickly. We picked up some downpours, but it's been not too persistent. A little lighter band of rain coming in through Letcher St. James Parish heading toward Livingston and the Baton Rouge Parish's area. So again, we're still looking at overall uh, still not much rain here, but once this system continues to pull off to the northwest a little more, it'll start dragging some of this back across our area. So kind of looking forward here is what we're talking about. As you'll see coming down across the uh, part of the lower or Plaquemines Parish area. That's where we are going to continue seeing again some of that rain moving on in. There you see they're just above the mouth of Mississippi River. That's where the heaviest rain is, but we're kind of going up here a little bit higher. So that's way down there right now. Just some light rain coming in. There's the Ironton area that uh, Todd was mentioning, and this is about the area here where that breach has gone on. So that area at least isn't getting a ton of rain at the moment, but that will be changing as we go throughout today, heading on into tonight and into tomorrow too, as those bands of rain continue to move up. They're wrapping around Hurricane Barry, which uh, again, moving off to the northwest there at six, but notice here rain starting to wrap around the center. Actually, it looks more impressed the way it does right now than it did earlier. I believe it's the last couple of days, so it continues working its way northward here up toward Alexandria by 6 a.m. on Sunday, so it's not moving very far, very fast. Notice it's only at six miles per hour and as it continues its trek towards Shreveport, Ruston area, El Dorado, Arkansas, back to the Conway, Little Rock area. That is where they continue seeing that. And once it gets far enough away, we won't see as strong of a southerly flow. So as we get on into the uh, Monday time frame, we'll be as bad, but still we can see some feeder bands trying to come in and that's what we'll have to watch out. Look at the wind radii with this right now too. You can see those winds uh, gusts there around 59 to 73 and then versus the 39 to 58. So we're starting to see some of those gusts coming on into our area more constantly traded Morgan City up toward Baton Rouge in the Abbeville area and eventually that will constrict as we get into Sunday by noon. The winds will be as strong here. Still can see a wind gust or two, but won't be quite as bad. Now I just want to show you this is the history of Barry started on the 4th of July up here near Wichita, Kansas as a little disturbance upper level low kind of tracked its way the way the weather pattern went all the way through Nashville heading to the Atlanta area back down near Macon coming back into the Gulf of Mexico not too far away from Apalachicola, Florida and has curved around become a tropical system and then where it is today currently is Hurricane Barry working its way into south central Louisiana and the forecast track has a kind of loop and all the way back to the north and the Midwest. So it's kind of decided to take a tour of the southeast, I guess. But uh, nonetheless, though, just uh, crazy to see how the system has moved. It is not uncommon to see a system like a trough of low pressure where the tail end of it kind of breaks off and becomes an area low pressure that could become a tropical system. Sometimes cold fronts will do this. We have seen this sometimes also in the fall when we start getting cold fronts getting closer to us that first they kind of get hung up there and sometimes in September, October, one of these could try to form alone the tail end of them. So that's definitely what we'll be keeping an eye on as we go later in the season.